Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I have a message for you. Winter is coming. Oh, wait. Fall is coming. And for those of you in the other parts of the hemisphere, in Australia, South America, Africa, spring is coming. So we're heading into the change of the seasons here, another equalizing point. And I got to tell you something. This, actually, I've never seen Game of Thrones. This is actually one of the uh, anthems of one of the houses. Winter is coming. Because where they live, it's always so cold, and it's always time to prepare for winter. That actually was one of my messages, because I have a leak in my roof. And I can feel it's going to be another brutal winter for uh, some people in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, I know some of you are coming out of a winter, and you're going to have a nice time. Uh, some of the other signs and signals uh, was August, almost right around the Lion's Gate, right around August 8th. That was a doozy. The leaves have already started changing around here. And, of course, nature being who nature is, he has prepared another set of seeds to ensure that things do keep moving along. Things do keep moving along. And I know that there's a lot of people that, for whatever reason, everyone has their reasons. You're coming into a time of some more struggles here, and other people are starting to come together. And some people have been together, and they're coming into different levels. So what I want to talk to you about in this video is uh, October. So we are going to go into the fall equinox and we are going to come into this time which is going to be mid-autumn or the beginning of autumn. And I want to remind you of a few things because people have a tendency that when the going gets tough, they just say, I'm out of here. And yet, you are some of the strongest angels in the entire universe. You are actually here bringing something. You're here doing something for yourself. This is a unique opportunity to renew yourselves. And not just you. I speak specifically to Twin Flames. I myself am a Blu-ray Twin Flame, which I didn't always know. I didn't come out of my mama knowing that in my head. But something in me knew it in my heart because I always knew that there were things, things didn't click with me, things just didn't seem right. I sensed things and other people would talk me out of it, but I knew. And for a lot of us, we simply got by. We did the best we could and for some people that was worse than other people. So what I'm going to talk to you about in this video, I'm going to talk about elevating the world, okay, because what happens here absolutely benefits everyone. Everyone. It doesn't matter if they're awake or not. And I have noticed something that I guess in some ways I could call spiritual superiority, spiritual snobbery. Please don't. Please know that while you may have found some answers or you've done some things, if you're a twin flame, your twin has the other side of the equation here for both of you. And we are launching this with each counterpart, not separately. That's one of the key differences. You can't do this separate. So one of the other things to talk about here, we're all in this together. It doesn't matter what type of angelic you are, what color ray you're from in that sense. However, every color has its purpose and there, this is an expression of the passion of your heart and what you're bringing to the table. So whether or not you're this color or that color or that color, I can say to you that right now while Blu-rays are 
very important and if you know that you are and you're hesitating on things please know things will continue moving along for you obstacles will fall away doors will open be the intrepid adventurer you are and be willing to step forward keep taking steps what I want to let you know is as we are all in this together many of us we're going through the last bits of all forms of duality and descension in other words what has it been to descend into a lower 3d dimension what does it mean as you come back out and you're on the way up so you are getting rid of all of these split opinions the sexual and the financial tensions and this is particularly between masculine and feminine energies not just men and women it happens within transgender communities gay communities it happens at workplaces it happens in areas where you are seeking assistance it could be getting your driver's license all these kind of tensions come up and all of the karma all of the karma is getting concluded so this is group karma collective karma ethnic pain body karma there's something that I want to say about this right here and right now and this may seem a bit of you know where am I coming from sitting here saying this but one thing I began to notice years ago when I first really woke up was coming uh, into an expansion of my gifts I would go to different classes or meditation it was always sort of lopsided in the sense of who was showing up and there were a lot of Caucasian people there were occasionally Asian people there were very few uh, people of African descent and I questioned this I questioned this I said this can't just be for a certain group of people and the answer was no it's not it's for everyone it's for everyone however what I did come to understand is there are unique challenges that people are not only embodying this challenge some people's challenge are on the outside with a deformity some a lot almost everybody's challenge is on the inside with some sort of uh, karma that they're getting rid of some sort of soul damage and the people who have most recently lived in slavery are going to be some of the people who are becoming elevated so that they also are their true authentic self and it's not that twin flames don't exist in every type of color shape religion creed they do they do but part of how we are doing this is in waves and waves so what I want to show you here I've gotten a map another map I did this once before in a video let me bring this in a little bit closer so you can see it okay so we've got here all the way from Australia we've got the United States Hawaii we've got um, part Tahiti and parts of the uh, Micronesian Islands here the Polynesian Islands New Zealand oh you can't see that whoops there's New Zealand so here you go here's the Pacific here is the United States now these are points of people I've actually spoken to in a twin flame context so people are either from these parts of the world or they have a connection to that point but I have received calls from all over from Tahiti from New Zealand so as we keep looking here we've got United States the entire West Coast parts of Mexico parts of the southern coast Central America and we've got parts of South America which looks like a ring and what you have here you have this ring of fire okay 
that's commonly called the ring of fire, this rim here where there's a lot of volcanic and volatile act seismic activity. You also have Europe, so Iceland. And again, I'm only mentioning the, the places that I have personally connected to. I'm not the only person connecting with Twin Flames. By no means do I know everybody on the planet. That would be almost an insurmountable task. But we're all here doing this together. So we've got the middle United States, the eastern side, all around South America, and this is all filling in. Okay, We've got, um, of course, the British Isles, Iceland, Northern Europe, and the parts that I've been noticing a lot of activity, Eastern Europe. This is where uh, there have been previous enslavements of people. We are now getting to Africa. Africa, and you'll see there's a lot of blank space there. Okay, There's some blank spaces here. There's parts of the Middle East. And because I haven't spoken to people there doesn't mean that there aren't things that are going to happen here. There is no stone being left unturned. There is not any place that is not going to be touched by love. So some of how is this happening? Um, we do have India. We have other parts of Asia that are here. So we've, we've still got Australia. We've got, we've got, I put a circle around Jakarta, Singapore, Vietnam, Korea, Thailand, Philippines, Shanghai, Korea is over here, sorry, and Japan. Um, I forgot Mongolia. I have a person in Mongolia. So when you take a big picture here and you start looking at where are things popping open and you can see that some of these waves of energy energies or twin flame couples, they're already coming into place. Okay. For example, someone who has a twin flame who's connected to Jamaica, one person lives in Florida, the other one lives in Los Angeles. Uh, per another person, they have a strong connection to Jamaica, and yet they live in Ontario. And this is how this pulling is done. We're pulling it up to a place of safety. Let's face it, some countries are just not safe to go to. Some cities are just not safe to go into certain areas. This is happening in a safe and sensible manner. Okay, so I think you'll agree. And by the way, I was told to go get some coffee from Kenya just the other day. So Kenya's over here. So somehow I'm making a connection for, with Kenya, probably from some past life. So there are unique challenges that every nationality, geographical area, because these are the waves in which that the angelic tribes, and so you will have tribal mentalities also. Um, a lot of the angelic tribes came to this area, Scandinavia and Northern Europe. Some of the tribes came here to the Pacific, and some were actually up here in the Alaska area. Now, some of the land masses uh, have shifted over the years, so some of the temperate areas are now up in a colder climate. So speaking of safety, something happened down the block for me uh, a week ago. There was a bomb scare. There was a box found in a parking lot two blocks away at a restaurant, and it's a restaurant hotel, and very scary for my residential area, but for anyone. And the police put up, I, I got this from the police, they put up these barricades, they cordoned off the area, they brought in the bomb squad. I think ultimately they found out it was a box of wires, but it was very frightening because so many things are happening out in the world that nobody is taking any chances. And we're also not taking chances with this. A lot of people are very put off by how long this is taking. It's so long. I've been waiting for so long. 
Well, you're going to wait until it is safe. You're going to wait until the prototyping is done, until everything is ready and the conditions are correct. And I encourage you that when that opportunity comes, be natural, be sweet, be loving, be as if there's nothing that you need to bring up from the past. That is your best course of action. When you do have uh, two twin flames, which down here it's called twin flames, twin rays, when we're a light source and when we're home at source, we are source love. So the original, the original source love angels, that is who the blue rays are. It's been incumbent on us to get this going, get it started, get it prototyped, and it's done now. I myself have felt that I've been going out around to every single one of my grid points and making sure everything is nice and snug and secure. Um, almost like I'm taking my tool, except my body is the conduit. I'm putting down energies. Why? Because when, when we do start to elevate, there cannot be continued chaos. There will be breakdowns and breakups with things. Things are not expected to implode or fall apart completely. They're expected to, with love, shift into something that rearranges itself in a more orderly fashion. That's the expectation. So how do we do this? We are bringing it here in our physical unions on our grid point. If you don't know what I'm talking about, my very last webinar did talk about grid points. Uh, in fact, several of my webinars talk about grid points. I talk about your physical body being the conduit. This is past the point where you can talk it to your twin, too. It has to be from the inside. This is where it's at right now, and it will increase and increase. And this, just so that I'm actually clear to you, Holding your fifth dimensional consciousness and way of living in a 3D world. It doesn't mean you're bringing the fifth dimension here. There are two separate distinct dimensions. Your consciousness, your awareness, your energies are coming through into this level of living. And that is not easy. It's not impossible. And there are tools to do it. If you don't know what some of the tools are, I have some of the tools. I have webinars that address this. I'm also launching a webinar for September, and I'll talk about that in a separate video. But I want to really take some time here to encourage everyone to hang in here, because we are coming into the time frames where things are, things are going to be popping, and... Uh, some of my messages, I keep getting things for October. This is, uh, I'll cover that up, an invitation for a Halloween party we attend annually. Can't wait to scare you later. Um, the messages of the squirrels are going around like mad and not only storing their nuts, they're burying things in. They started fattening up weeks ago, and I'm looking at them going, oh boy, this is going to be a heavy-duty winter. For some of you, that's going to really be time to snuggle under the blankets with your true love. For others, it's going to be time for parts of you to open and awake. And again, the more aware you are, the more proactive you're able to be, the less it has to be a crisis. That's the biggest part of why I am presenting tools, because we are going into things that whether people like it and, or not, whether they deny it, whether they have, try to avoid it, it's still going to happen. So what you create is a delay, and does it mean this kind of crisis, or you went through something a little bit smoother? So elevating the world and again there's been all kinds of other messages I feel like there's been a lot of messages coming from Africa and people of African descent all kinds of African descent good and bad we've had um, lion killings we've had lions uh, you know in videos knowing they never forget the people that they grew up with um, we've had you know 
what seems almost retaliatory. And we're getting rid of some of the ways of being an apex predator. It doesn't belong in the workplace. It doesn't belong in politics or religion. This is some of what the lion is shedding light on also. It's the predatory nature of what has had to be in 3D. Having a fifth dimensional conscious means that you're you're thriving, you're not just surviving. So a lot of people probably have connections to, Africa's a huge continent, there's many countries in Africa and uh, many parts that were affected with the um, triangle trade, you know, you've got a lot of this that's alleviating too. So again, that's, that's just one area of the world. There's other areas too where there's a negative uh, vortex of energy. There's the Middle East. There is around here, around Malaysia, they've had a lot. A lot of countries have had more invasions than one, and sometimes it has uh, been by more than one group. But when you start to get together, you start on the upward spiral of energies. Whoops. You know, where things just go up and up and up and up and up and you're in this upward mobility and it's not a depressed energy. Watch and see over the next few weeks. Take good care of yourself. Watch out for depression. Watch out in your family, your workplaces, your friends, organizations for any dissension or dissension where it feels like you're not getting along with people they're arguing there are reasons for it that I'm going to cover in my next video talking about my webinar splits in opinions what shut the front door somebody redefined twin flames again <laughs> we know who we are you got to know what you know what you know and that's all I'm going to say about it okay and clean out your closets Clean out the closet floor. Uh, clean out some things. Do a little bit of fall cleaning. Make some room, make some space in there. It's not a bad time to do some other inventory. Okay, and the tensions that are here, a lot of people are feeling financial tensions. It's out there in the markets. There is a collective fear there. By now, many of you should know that um, the markets do sometimes swing wildly. It's supply and demand also. If there's not a demand, there won't be. They'll cut down on the supply. Uh, there's things to know about the financial markets. And markets will recover. Your safety and security is in your heart. And staying heart connected. And who is your heart? Who is it? Oh, your twin flame. Yes, it is. Your twin flame is your heart. And it's okay if you say, well, I, you know, I love their soul, but I don't love them. No, what you're really saying is, I don't love the karma. I don't love the karma. So we're going to talk about that in my next video. Thanks so much. Check out my webinars. They have a lot of good information and tools for getting you through these uh, time periods. Bye now.